across all R&D programs and the chemicals materials organisations that we encounter, we see that everyone follows a really common, what's known as the scientific method. And that means that they design or create new materials and then they test to see if it performs better or worse than the materials that they have made or seen before. At Dotmatics, we call this the make, test and decide cycle. In order to do this efficiently, organisations need to capture all of the information about the rationale for the material. The easier that it is for a scientist to identify previous data, the faster they can design new materials or experiments that can have a greater chance of being a successful new product. Due to the rapidly changing R&D pipeline, we could see that many chemicals and materials organisations, they actually delayed on a true digitalisation journey. They believed that it would take too long. But after this delay, almost all of them are now seeing the power in leveraging the tsunami of data that their researchers have been increasingly capturing throughout the R&D process. But by capturing and structuring, then standardising and managing this data that they generate, Organisations are now seeing the ability, potentially of applying artificial intelligence and machine learning models to their programmes. Researchers will be able to accurately analyse, model, predict and potentially have AI prescribe ingredients, processes or conditions that will enable them to get to the right new innovative material quicker and with less cost. This has benefit both for the companies and for consumers.